Well, the conventional wisdom is that the Sotomayor nomination and probably other vacancies that may occur are not going to change the ideological balance of the Supreme Court too much, replacing liberals with liberals. I mean, that's the speculation. It could be a big difference on the Court of Appeals, though, and that's where 99% of federal litigation ends in the U.S. Court of Appeals. Um, currently, there are, in terms of the party of appointing president, which is not the, the best measure, but it's the best measure we have of tendency of how judges might decide cases. Republican appointees currently are compromised 55 percent of the Court of Appeals judges. Democratic appointees, 35 percent. The rest are vacancies. There are 18 vacancies now. Obama has nominated seven judges for those vacancies so far, f starting in March and most recently on August 6. Assuming Obama is able to fill vacancies, uh, and assuming the retirement rate among judges stays pretty much as it has been, assuming Congress enacts a judgeship bill, that 55 to 42 percent breakdown could change rather dramatically. Democratic appointees could constitute 58 percent of the Court of Appeals. That's a big change.